Hello, hello. I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. I'm starting the stream a little bit earlier than usual today because I'm having some package problems. I got a mystery box from Ruse Pokemon, my good friend, delivered earlier this week, or so it said, on Monday, but it was not in my mailbox. And this is a mystery box that I'm really looking forward to opening up on the channel. There's going to be some vintage cards inside and then some Battle Styles cards that I'm missing for my Master Set collection and some, some that I traded for specifically sent him some cards. So I definitely, definitely want to get this box. So I've been dealing with my, my very, very nice uh, landlord service today that have been helping me to try and track down the package dealing with uh, USPS themselves, parcel pending, like uh, a system that uh, runs our, our mailboxes here uh, where I live. And it's just all around honestly, a really frustrating process. So I'm hoping that with the by the end of it, we can come out with the box and get to open that sometime this weekend on the channel. But in the meantime, to keep me happy, I've got some Battle Styles booster packs to open up. So I hope you guys enjoy this in the meantime. Last video, we did pull the alternate artwork Urshifu. So we got the alternate artwork out of the box. Usually there's like, if there is going to be an alternate artwork, there's one alternate artwork. But there is still potential for a gold card, a, a rainbow card, maybe a full art trainer, maybe another full art Pokemon. Usually there's about like two hits per booster box on, on average. Um, so we've got the alt art rapid strike Urshifu. Let's see what else we can pull. And we've got... Six packs today, like usual. The Tyranitar, the Rapid Strike, and the Single Strike Urshifu over here. We got another Tyranitar, another Rapid Strike, and then an Empoleon. So I'm going to start off with the Empoleon and the Single Strike, and then we're going to do the Tyranitar and the Rapid Strike. Um, as far as cards that I'd really like to pull out of this, uh, I definitely want to get the Rapid Strike Rainbow Rare Urshifu. Uh, no, sorry, the, the Rainbow Rare Single Strike Urshifu. My apologies. Um, the Single Strike Urshifu Alt Art, the Single Strike Urshifu Full Art, so hunting for all those Urshifus as usual. The Gold Houndoom is another one that I'd love to pull. This pack is feeling a little heavy, so does that mean we got something out of here? I already see the first card. I'm going to spoil it for you guys as a Cubone. So we already know it's a cute pack. Does that mean that it's going to be loaded with some hollow hits? Or Vs, Rainbows, or more? Can we get some first pack magic in today's video? We got Water Energy to start us off. Pig Knight. Fan of Waves. Dotler. Cubone. There's that Cubone. Fight his, uh, cutest Pokemon around. I almost said fighting, fighting his Pokemon around. But no, fight me over the fact that he's the cutest Pokemon. Frillish. Blip Bug outside of the dojo. Roly Coley. Chimico. Chimcho. Spiro reverse, and then what's the last card gonna be? Did I did I already spoil that it's gonna be a non-hollow hit? Oh, but it was a hollow hit. I was wrong, so I didn't spoil nothing. Tapu Bulu hollow hit, one of the guardian Pokemon, the Tapus from Sun and Moon. The Alolan Pokemon. Although it's called a Garden Deity, it's violent enough to crush anyone it sees as an enemy. So a very, very cool Pokemon pull. I am actually, uh, until I played the Pokemon Sun and Moon games, I was not a fan of the Tapu Pokemon. But then after I played the game, I really liked how they incorporated them into the story. Each one's like the guardian of a different island and chooses the Kahuna to be almost like the, the gym leader of that island. Um, I really like how they, they mixed in and gave the Lolan region its own unique culture. So here's the first code card of today's video. Good luck on your guys' code card polls. Let me know in the comments what you guys are pulling out of those. I'm always interested to see what hits people get. All right, second pack of the video, we got an Empoleon artwork. Four from the back to the front. And Psychic Energy. XP Share. Carcoal. Dotler. Frillish. Esper, we need that Meowstic reverse. Blipbug falls into the Dotler. Silicobra. Houndour, reverse is coming up. What do we have? Oh, that's actually a nice reverse to see. I always like the reverses of the normally hollow cards. So, reverse Kingdra. 
It's a very nice pull right there. And let's see what the last card's going to be. Non-hollow Aegislash. So shout out to Boyd. We got a nice Aegislash pull. This is the non-hollow shield form. I think last video was it that we pulled the uh, the hollow Aegislash? Or maybe it was the first video of the box. I think I think actually, yeah, it was the first video of the box, the last pack, that we got the hollow Aegislash. And now here is the code card. So that is the second code card of the video. That means we got four packs left. One of, I was going to say one of each of the artworks, but no, that's not correct. You've got two each of the Rapid Strike Urshifu and two each of the Tyranitar. So I'll do a Rapid Strike and then I'll do a Tyranitar. The alternate artwork Tyranitar is the number one card that I am chasing from this set. It's Tyranitar. He looks like he's passed out after he's eaten or drink, drank too much. But either way, it's a very, very fun artwork on the card. I love how they did that. And I'd like to see more Pokemon in that kind of like lackadaisical um, style. And it's a very like cartoonish artwork too. So I like even the style of the, of the artwork itself rather than... I shouldn't say rather, but on top of the pose. Steel Energy. I don't know. I got a good feeling out of this pack. Maybe we'll get something huge. Dotler. Dewblade. Pig Knight. And there's the Pig Knight in the alternate artwork, Tyranitar. There is a Pig Knight in the background too, and it's like this it's just another angle of the same one where he's he's at the buffet as well. He's eating too much, but not as much as that Tyranitar. Lick a tongue, tongues out in the beach. Maybe he's running to the buffet. He's like, don't eat it with all out me. Zubat, I love the knitted artwork, Pokemon artwork. I want to open up more sets and find more of these. Remoraid, one of my favorite common artworks in the set. The Octillery in the back work, showing them how it's done. We did pull that gold oct Octillery, just a uh, link to, in the description to, to that poll video. If you guys want to check it out. Onyx, some nice hand-drawn Gen 1 artwork. Mawile, I think the reverse is coming up next. Can we get that Meowstic that we really need? Oh, back-to-back. -back. Mawile and then the reverse. So that's kind of fun to see. Back-to-back, -back, the rewind. And now last card. What are we going to get? Non-Hollow Lorantis. So cool to see that back-to-back -back Mawile in the reverse. So we are three packs in. We've got one Hollow. I'm going a little bit quicker than usual today just because, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm trying to catch my mail service before they arrive to, sh to deliver packages today because I want to try and get them to... When they, when they do deliver packages, they open up all the lockers, and I want them to try and see because I have a good feeling my package was delivered to the wrong mailbox. Or they just put it in the mailbox and they forgot to give me the key to the mailbox, which both of those things has happened before. Please, if you're sending cards um, to anyone, do not use U United States Postal Service. They suck. I mean, if you really want to get a package to someone, you're better off just throwing it in the trash than using USPS because it's got a better chance of getting to them than than actually sending it to USPS and having them mail it for you. Darkness Energy. Cheryl. Bishart. Weeping Bell. He's on some hard times. That dangerous mucus. I don't even want to know what that is, kids these days. Mawile. Fomantis. Remoraid. Another Remoraid. Spiro. That hand-drawn Gen 1 artwork. Pachirisu, very cute. Is this the reverse? Reverse Licky Licky, the evolution of the Lickitung. Let's see what the last card's going to be. Non Hollow Phalanx. So this is the fourth pack, which means we've got two more to go. Here is your guys' code card. Good luck on the polls. Now we'll go to the Rapid Strike. Urshifu. Something else that I saw today, um, well, not today, Yeah, I think yesterday it came out, they revealed a lot of the Eevee artworks for the Japanese set called Eevee Heroes, but there's a lot of rumors that it's going to be incorporated into the net, um, not the next English set, but the set after, the one that comes out on August 27th. Right now it's named Evolving Skies, and Rayquaza is the mascot, but a lot of people are thinking that the evolving part of the name is going to tie in the evolutions. And they showed those EV artworks as part of the EV hero set in Japan. And holy cow, those are some beautiful cards. I know I'm going to want to try and collect 
I, I say some of them, all of them for sure. Absolutely the Umbreon and the Espeon. Right now, the Espeon VMAX alternate artwork is a promo card if you get the the Japanese EV set, but I'm hoping when it comes in English that it's a, a regular VMAX card, maybe even a secret rare. The artwork is just that good on both of those, so I'm hoping all the EVs and their VMAX alternate arts all come into the English set, and I love what they're doing with the alternate artworks. I want to see more of those. Bruxish. Boofalant. Galarian Slowpoke. Yamper. Shout out to Boyd. Pokeball in the mouth. Murkrow. Murder of Crows. Slandit. Love that clay artwork. Bellsprout and some hand-drawn Gen 1. Reverse Zubat. And let's see what the last card's going to be. non hollow Primeape. So some nice Gen 1s. Had a trio of Gen 1s there. The reverse Zubat with that knitted artwork. And now we are on to the last pack of today's video. It is the Tyranitar artwork. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Actually, I jumped the gun. Here's the code card. So I forgot about the code card. We're jumping up to the Tyranitar for the last pack. Can we pull something new? As far as reverses, the Meowstic reverse would be really nice. Um, hollows, rainbows, looking for anything new. I think the only the only two rainbows we've pulled is the Tapu Coco and the Rapid Strike Urshifu, which are both incredible, incredible rainbows. But maybe, maybe out of this pack, we can get the third rainbow out of Battle Styles. Or a full art trainer. Can we get a full art trainer? That'd be fun. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic on this last pack. Darkness Energy. Crawdon. Once we're through this pack, too, we'll be halfway through the booster box. We'll have 18 packs left. Dewblade. Cacturn. So still plenty of room to pull some hits. Gliger. Electabuzz. I love this Electabuzz artwork every time I see it. So dynamic. I love the colors, the blue background. Bellsprout. Bronzor. Murkrow. Another Murder of Crows. Ooh, Reverse Salazzle. Love the colors on this card. And let's see, what is our last card of today's video going to be? It is a non-hollow Galarian Slowbos, Slowbro. So I really do like the artwork on this card. This would be a fun one to see in hollow, actually, especially because of the sunset and everything. But a nice reverse Salazzle. So we did just get one hollow in today's video, but that's not such a bad thing because that just means that the next half of this booster box is going to be really stacked. We've only pulled one alternate artwork so far in the box, so that's been the biggest hit so far. So still 18 packs. We've got a lot of room to go. I'll be opening up tomorrow. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go grab it real quick. So apologies. I'm going to be off stream for just a second. But I'm going to show you guys grabbing what I will be opening up tomorrow. So tomorrow on the channel, I'm going to be opening up a Zamazenta Elite Trainer Box, the premium one. We've got the gold, black and gold Zamazenta card, 12 packs from the Sword and Shield set, a lot of metal accessories. So I'm super excited to be opening up this product tomorrow. I opened up the Zacian one last week, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that as well. It's going to be around 5 uh, p.m. Eastern or 5.30 p.m. Eastern, sometime around there. depends on when I get off work. Actually, maybe even a little bit earlier now that I think about it. I'm getting off work a little bit early for Memorial Day, so maybe it will be a little bit earlier, closer to 5 or maybe 4.30 p.m. But I'm super excited for this. Next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern, like usual, I'll be doing my six packs of Battle Styles to finish off the last 18 packs of this booster box. And then next week, I've got a bunch of Shining Fates ETBs coming in. So a lot more products to open up in the store. And hopefully today or tomorrow, I can track down the mystery box from Ruse Pokemon because I was planning on opening that this weekend instead of a Shining Fates ETB. And I would really like to still have that to open for you guys. I think that would be really, really cool and something different to see opened up. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And I got a question for you guys. I want to know, what is your favorite evolution? You could give two codes so that same person does not take them all, please. Um, 
Hey, Omar. So, sorry, I only have the codes that out of the packs that I get, but that is a good advice that for future videos I can ask, please just take one code card so that everyone who's watching can get a chance to redeem them. Um, I did do each code card after the pack, but that is a very good point. So in the future, I will be asking if you guys are watching, just, just take one code card so that everyone else that's watching can also get a code card and something up uh, to open. So thank you very much, Omar, for the, for the great point. And I hope that in the future, you're able to have some better luck getting the pulls. If you are new to the openings, Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I do openings around 5 p.m. Eastern, so there will be more code cards to come. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more openings, and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and good luck on your pulls. Hey, what up, Colin? Hey, I'm just, I'm just heading out for the day, but glad you can step into the chat. And uh, I'm going to reiterate my last, my, my last point. The question for the day is, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite Eeveelution? So out of that Eevee Hero set that's coming out, what Eevee would you want to pull the most? What's your favorite form of the Eevee? Personally, I, I, I love Espeon is my favorite one, the Psychic from Gen 2. But I'm curious to see what all of your guys' favorite is. So that's going to be it for today. I'm going to try and catch the mailbox, um, the mailman or male woman today, and hopefully we can track down that mystery box and have some open, um, awesome vintage cards and, and more to show you guys. So peace out and hope you guys have a great